Oral myiasis is a rare but serious condition. It happens when flies lay their eggs in a person's mouth. These eggs hatch into larvae, which are small worms. The larvae then feed on the tissues in the mouth. This can cause pain, swelling, and infection. Oral myiasis is more common in tropical and subtropical regions. It is often seen in people who have poor oral hygiene or who are unable to take care of themselves. People with open wounds in their mouth are also at risk. While it is unsettling to think about, understanding oral myiasis is important. Knowing the causes, symptoms, and treatment can help protect you and your loved ones. Remember, seeking prompt medical attention is crucial if you suspect oral myiasis. It's important to remember that oral myiasis is treatable, especially when caught early. By understanding this condition, we can take steps to prevent it and ensure better oral health for everyone. Several species of flies can cause oral myiasis. The most common culprits are bot flies, screw worms, and house flies. These flies are attracted to decaying matter, including food debris and bodily fluids. Certain factors can increase the risk of oral myiasis. Poor oral hygiene is a major risk factor, as it creates a favorable environment for flies to lay eggs. People with severe dental problems such as tooth decay or gum disease are more susceptible. Other risk factors include alcoholism or drug abuse, mental illness, physical disability, living in unsanitary conditions, and traveling to tropical regions. It's crucial to maintain good oral hygiene and address any dental issues promptly to minimize the risk of oral myiasis. The symptoms of oral myiasis can vary depending on the severity of the infestation. In the early stages you may experience a strange feeling in your mouth, bad breath, excessive salivation, swelling in the mouth, and difficulty swallowing. As the larvae grow the symptoms become more severe. These may include intense pain, bleeding gums, pus discharge, fever, and facial swelling. If you notice any of these symptoms, it is essential to see a doctor immediately. Section 4. Diagnosing the Infestation Diagnosing oral myiasis typically involves a physical examination of the mouth. The doctor will look for signs of larvae, such as small white worms moving around in the tissues. They will also check for any signs of infection or tissue damage. In some cases, imaging tests, such as x-rays or CT scans, may be necessary to determine the extent of the infestation. These tests can help visualize the larvae and assess any damage to the bones or surrounding tissues. Early diagnosis is crucial for effective treatment and a better prognosis. Section 5. Treatment and Management Treatment for oral myiasis involves removing the larvae and treating any infection. The most common method of removal is manual extraction using forceps or tweezers. The doctor will numb the area before removing the larvae to minimize discomfort. After removing the larvae, the doctor will clean the affected area thoroughly and may prescribe antibiotics to prevent infection. In severe cases, surgery may be necessary to remove damaged tissue or repair any structural damage caused by the infestation. Following treatment, it is essential to maintain good oral hygiene and attend follow-up appointments with the doctor to ensure the infection is completely gone and the healing process is progressing well. Section 6. Prevention and Precautions Preventing oral myiasis is crucial, especially if you are at increased risk. Here are some essential prevention tips. Maintain excellent oral hygiene. Brush your teeth twice a day, floss daily, and use an antiseptic mouthwash to keep your mouth clean. Seek regular dental care. Visit your dentist for checkups and cleanings every six months to address any dental issues promptly. Protect yourself from flies. Use insect repellent, wear protective clothing, and use mosquito nets, especially in areas where flies are prevalent. Practice safe food handling. Wash your hands thoroughly before eating, store food properly, and avoid consuming spoiled or contaminated food. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. By taking these precautions, you can significantly reduce your risk of developing oral myiasis.